dear professional friends in this video i am going to discuss about the how minority shareholders have stopped the reappointment of non performing director of stidham transport finance limited shareholders boost tpg bhatia from stidham transport finance board for not attending the board and committee meetings by him reappointment of director is barred by minority shareholders of stidham transport company most proxy advisors firms had recommended against vote on the resolution raising red flags over his poor attendance at the board and other committee meetings minority shareholders of stidham transport company limited overwhelmingly voted against a resolution to reappoint private equity major tpg capital asia's co-managing partner and india's head punit bhatia as a board member this makes it a rare instance of public shareholders coming together joining together to boost a high profile india incorporation board member the issue also highlights the growing scrutiny by investors and voting advisory firms of the performance of the board members so nowadays advisory firms and public investors are closely watching how directors are performing whether they are attending uh, the board meetings the committee meetings the audit committee meet other uh, csr committee meetings all this they take into account then they arrive at for their a uh, conclusion to vote for a, their app, app, reappointment or not resolution for reappointment of direct uh, directors vehicle finance company yes stfc got shareholders approval on all the seven resolution is floated at the annual general meeting on recently boring one to, be, uh, to appoint punit bhatia as a who retires by rotation as a director while the resolution got 100% promoters votes over 83% of the public shareholders mainly institutional investors <coughs> voted against sir bhatia's reappointment re overall the resolution got only 43.1% of votes failing to reach 50% vote threshold required to be passed as an ordinary resolution proxy advisors firms in action most proxy advisors firms had recommended against vote on the resolution raising red flags over his poor attendance at the board and other committee meetings no concern regarding profile or time commitment however director bhatia has low attendance said stakeholders empowerment service uh, uh, proxy firm poor attendance by the director in 2019-20 bhatia attended only three of the six board meetings held by stfc where he served as a non executive director also his attendance in, uh, in audit committee meetings and corporate social responsibility meetings was just 40% and 33% respectively a director is no more an ornament for the company or a badge for an individual the directorship is not an ornament or a badge for the individual board attendance is seen as a surrogate measure of board level for participation investors expect directors to be more engaged with the companies whose boards they serve on in absence of any parameter on this board attendance is seen as a surrogate measure of board level participation so number of board meetings attendance is very important for because they have to attend the board meetings they have to exchange their views they have to approve the resolution passed in the board meeting so if they go below the threshold then we have to think for the uh, twice before their reappointment voting advisory firms expect a director to attend at least 75% of the board meetings STFC's management was battling for Batia's reappointment despite of his it is unfair says STFC it would be unfair to arrive at any judgment or vote against recommendation solely based on the guideline that he did not attend 75% of the board meetings of STFC in the financial year 2019 and 20 this will not be in the larger interest of the shareholders of the company STFC had said justifying his reappointment the chennai based company said he has made significant contributions for success 
and excellent performance of the company the management has highly benefited from his association guidance and advice through discussions and deliberations on strategic matters voting advisory firms are, are often what has made significant contribution for success and the excellent performance of the company the management has highly benefited from his association guidance and advice through the discussions and the deliberations on strategic matters voting advisory firms are often criticized by companies for strictly following quantitative metrics such as attendance age and the number of directors restrict positions held to those in 18 the issue had come to the fore after some global voting advisory firms had recommended against against vote on hdfc resolution to reappointment debek parik as director as he held the positions board positions in eight other companies besides heading tbg capital asia which manages dollar 6 billion in assets bartia served as a director in about a dozen other companies before joining tbg in april 2002 bartia as head of ge grow capital india uh, another private equity he had joined stfc board as nominee director of the tpg in 2006 after the pe firm acquired an indirect stake in stfc lessons learned the high this highlights the growing scrutiny by investors and uh, voting advisory firms about the performance of board members a director is no more an ornament for the company or a badge for an individual board attendance is seen as a surrogate measure of board level participation market watchdogs expect a director to attend at least 75% of board meetings on the company side it is argued that we should not see alone the per- percentage of attendance but we have to see the contribution of the director to the growth of the company one should not focus quantitative metrics such as attendance age and number of directors position but one should look into the significant contribution for success and the excellent performance of the companies by such director friends i think you like this video if you like it please i request you to subscribe my channel so that whenever i issue new video or new topic it will reach you directly thanking you once again arvi shegar practicing company secretary